This is a young Nigerian that relocated to Ghana as a student many, many years ago. But what he does in Ghana presently will blow your mind. So if you know you want to know more about him, just keep watching because I promise you, you wouldn't regret it. guys welcome to BFS space if this is your first time of coming across my channel you are highly welcome my name is Kina Bifi and guys today I have someone special for you and let me just allow him to introduce himself so, hello guys welcome to the channel my name is Annie De John I'm a South of Pencil artist practicing in Ghana <laughs> yeah versus more yes yes so I've known John way back yeah i think we went to the same secondary school oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to the same secondary school we went to the same church oh, yeah, yes then i'm so excited to meet him in ghana again we yeah. met when we were schooling here in ghana yeah so i just i just thought about it like how can john be here and you guys don't know john <laughs> like you don't know the best pencil artist in ghana today. so john yeah. how long have you been in ghana I remember I came to Ghana September 2013. Okay. So that means 13 um, to 11 years now. 11 years. September, yeah. And you and came for your years. studies, right? Yeah, I actually came for studying here. Yeah. Funny thing is, I came to Ghana to study civil engineering. So now we are now doing the pencil artist. I do not know you. I think pencil. you've been drawing since secondary oh, yes, school. Yes, yes, yes. I remember really those had... days, like I do see your artwork in at Chibuzo's office. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Wow, <laughs> wow, I remember, yes. Wow, you remember. And Chibuza was our principal then. Yes, from, yes, from yes, secondary school. From secondary school. So at what point did you decide to go into your passion? Or let me say your talents. Yes, you at know, what point did you decide? Let me just break it down as fast as I can. Mm -hmm. As you said, drawing has always been a passion of mine. But you know the African, the average African parent experiences. Yes. They don't look, especially artists and artisans, they don't really, skills are not really something they look, they don't value they it. They don't really value it because it's like, how much can you make? The, the role models you have in our neighborhood, they are not really doing well. So it's really difficult to say that. I've been really passionate about art. Mm -hmm. I know growing up, but you see the white scholar jobs, engineering, mm -hmm. doctor, you know, nursing, lawyer, lawyer so these were the hot cakes. Yes. Because it used to be hot during mm -hmm. the time of our parents. Mm -hmm. But fortunately for me, I've just been super passionate about it, even while I was in university. And the funny thing is, I couldn't finish my university mm -hmm. because of finances. Do you remember Harry came in? Yes. I was one of those guys. So oh, I still got affected. That. Well, luckily for me, I had to join to keep me company. And then I've been able to find use it to navigate my way. And here I am. So, I don't mind you to go to Western. 20. Because... Okay, I was here um, 2017, 1st January. That was the very first thing I did that year. The marketing manager, Mr. Kunado, at the time, gave me the space. I spoke to him. I was like, I'm a, I'm a student, I'm struggling, I'm an artist as well. I would like to probably use your space to display some of my work of art. And he's like, oh, fine. I'll give you three days for free. Yes. Find your way around and then when you find your feet, then you can start paying for the wow. Luckily enough for me, or lucky, unfortunately, I was only able to spend just one day out of those three days. And then the remaining two days, I came back 2019 hoping I, I got this place 2017. I went through the worst period of my life, 2017 and 2018. 2019, I was beginning to pick up, and then I came back, and I was like, Sir, remember, I still have two days left, and it's like, I'm no longer here, but my boy, the guy who used to be who my is assistant, here. is still here, so I'll follow the application to him, and then I, he gave it to him, and I came here, what I got was that the space, they're giving it to me for free, it was, it was, it was surprising, like, I, I, th I thought, I thought it was the space, the space for space free. free, yeah, so I was here for free, for six months wow and then six months was what i was, was more than enough for me to find my your feet and been, uh, so it has been a beautiful like and this is like shocking. journey yes. yes yes for free i think because i was coming to bring out some kind of spice being so, an artist yes. the minor, so i was like okay and how has it been since then? oh yes it's been you know it's been it's been, it's been cool i was thinking at least 
my life is much better now. Than much better life. Much better than before. Before I started this job, I was even the very first day I started this my month of I didn't have an apartment of my own. So I was <laughs> my my landlady at the time. I know she, she didn't really mean to, you know. Sometimes mm -hmm. you know, I had too much faith in what I was doing. I took my rent money. I was so full my life at the point that at that point in my life that I told her what I was doing. And I saw her as my mother here in Ghana. You know, I told her that I'm using this money to do the desk and I'm coming to this mall. But she has never been to the mall before, so she thought I was just playing around with her. Okay. So even when I started, I was sleeping in my apartment with no windows. She took it out like I have to pay money. So rain to be raining. <laughs> That's fine. To be raining and then Are you serious? And I came. When I came, when I come to the mall, I'm looking nice. You see my black mm -hmm. one looking fresh mm -hmm. and everything. When I go home, at that home we're like, going through hell. But we just took one month and everything just so, so my entire two years of suffering from 2016, I would say from 2016 up until 2019, uh, Ju uh, oh, no, June, yeah, yeah, June. That was as, that particular month, June, June, July was when. Things started changing, changing so much better. That's when I knew that my life was no longer going to be like the it was. Same. And how has the patronage been? Oh, it's been People it's have been fair. Patronizing. Yeah, it's been fair. I was, I was surprised. I was surprised, you know, struggling artists you barely had any permission. So, mm -hmm. one in a month, one in four, three months, mm -hmm. to at least every month, you're getting people to come. So, it's been a very good upgrade. I know there is. More that could be achieved, but it's been a very, very good. I'm really proud of you because yeah. I, I, I think I was following you on your WhatsApp status when you were doing this challenge every day. Yeah. You were doing a daily challenge. Yes. You still have that video? Uh, yeah, I have. I have the sketch pad here actually. You do? Yes, my hundred drawings are all here. Funny thing, let me tell you why I did that. Mm -hmm. I think when I lost my apartment where I was staying and my school around 2016, I got really depressed. Really depressed mm -hmm. that. I lost, I lost my identity. I lost, and I was trying to discover who I was. That's when I knew civil engineering was not for me, and I was discovering my my deep so. passion for art. And then I would begin to get people who pay twenty cities, thirty cities for me to do drawing. Sure. But I never really considered myself to be an artist. Okay, as at the time you were doing yeah, that, yeah, it. because it's not a white collar job. You know, that's the mm -hmm. psychology I grew up with. You know. Eventually, people started patronizing, like, oh, I let people call in, like, they want to draw their girlfriends for a long time. And I was like, mm. okay. And then I did one for 100 CDs. I was like, really? So, so I can make pay that much. Yeah, to then 200 CDs. I was like, wow, there's money in this, you know. As I then, I was getting 200 CDs a month for feeding. Mm, from yeah, home? Yeah, from home. So, so imagine you can imagine drop one. Yeah, one drive. And then you get Although that was like one in like two months, but mm. I still was able to get it. So that's when I discovered that, oh, I think he's drawing too. And then there's this other artist at a Chimota Mall. The guy is also a software artist. He never even went to university. Mm. And he's been able to buy a car, build a house, and that's really so it's possible to do this. And then I took that leap of faith. I left school. I didn't even bother to struggle to. I just put all my attention on the arts and honing my skills, getting better and better every day. And by the grace of God. So the hundred days I because I lost a sense of self and identity. I wanted to remind myself who I was to earn my respect. Mm. That's what I remember going through my life. I, I lost a lot of respect for myself. Like, oh, we really don't have anything left. Mm. Funny thing, I lost my apartment. Uh, school, I wasn't going. My laptop and my phone, I was using to do my small small mm -hmm. Somebody stole it too. So it's like, I literally lost everything. everything. The only so, thing you had was like so your pain. And, and I remember asking myself, like, if I lose everything, what do I have? And then I remember answering the same question. Trying is one thing I know is valuable that I and nobody can take from me. And then from that from that particular point, I just it just be getting better. You know, we we're going through some small small hiccups and challenges, but not as worse as it was. Yeah, oh, it was extreme. When I mean hopeless, it was seriously hopeless during the time of Buhari. Yeah. Bubu, Buhari finished. Mm -hmm. A lot of Nigerians yes, left, they, they the left Ghana as I because, it was, because it was they, so they bad. Read, just like it's bad right now. Oh, now it's bad, it. but the beauty is just that we are working here. We are mm -hmm. in the city. So I mean, for people that are oh, schooling. schooling from, oh, no, it's terrible. People that Jesus. are schooling now in Ghana, then their parents have to pay. It's crazy, right? One million now. I think that was what, I think that was oh, what happened that time. Oh, yeah. That people had to drop out from school and all of that. 
I, I really want to know. Growing up, when I see artists, I just see them like strange beings. Because I used to be like, how will you draw so much to be like? Because I, I've tried drawing, like as a child, you know? Uh, yeah. They'll give you someone, they say, draw this person, you're trying to put behavior, you're yeah. trying to put eyes. Of course, it's not looking like that. So, what is it? What's unique about you guys that you can actually draw I, someone exactly the way I the person is? What all artists have in common is they have a lot of time to themselves. <clears throat> Most artists are known as because it's a very, 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 I'm not a lonely, but it's a very isolating kind of Arians. career and skill. Because for you to be able to produce works with some high level of detail and accuracy, mm -hmm. you have to fo stay focused. Like the drawing I just completed. I will give. I will send a video of that for you. You can show them mm -hmm. at this point. It's, it took me five days standing and just looking at this black piece of paper, mm -hmm. and then just working, working on layers and layers. What comes to your mind? Where you're doing? Oh, what? A lot. What? What do you imagine? Oh, the thing is, is is I know a lot of people see us as see, see us as some kind of way like this. Yes. Thing. But the thing is, it's just it's very easy. Can someone learn it? Oh yes. I believe my journey, my my personal philosophy is this. If you can write, if you can hold your hand to write a pencil and pen, mm. you can draw. Because that's technically what we do. We just write, but much more finer. We, mm. we, we stain the paper, but we are very aware of where we want the stain to go to. Okay. We understand tone and chat. It's just a whole lot. If I go into that, I was So if I want to them. learn how to draw like this, I yeah. can actually come and learn. Yeah, but yeah, you I teach people. Yes, yeah, I've taught people who don't have believe. Ah, yeah. okay. People who don't believe they will learn how to draw in two weeks and i teach them is because it like i never had have it. passion already or no can... all you have to do is just make time that's wow. all make time and then make it your only thing that you focus on for that mm. period of time that's it don't really get engaged in anything like that yes. you understand so if someone wants to learn how to draw now how much oh now i charge 2500 for, okay. for two months for two months yes. oh, that's good Yes, just, but for a skill that is going oh, to yes. give you a lot of oh money. yes, That's yes. Good. I know someone who came here as I when I was studying thousand cities. Mm -hmm. I see this guy has a lot of talent, parents are not really financially okay. I'll give you five hundred cities. I'll take you as an expert. And now he has made way more than that. Working with me too, he has made way more than that. He makes that like more than that three months. Oh it's it's an artist. You know, that working with me at the moment too. How much do you charge like your artwork? How do you charge? Um, the range is different prices. You know? Okay. Smallest being A4, 600 cities to the biggest, 30 by 40, which is A0, mm. that's 4,500. So but that's trust price. me, it is worth it. Oh. Because someone standing, just like you said, he had to spend five days to give that much stack piece. Yeah. Imagine standing five days, thinking and about... And that's really fast. And because of my years of experience, experience. and I have yeah, I have other ways in queue as fast. I remember before I started doing before I started working in the mall, I can spend a whole month, okay. two months making the same size. Okay. But now I know exactly and most of that time spent is just figuring out because I'm self so figuring out what to do next mm -hmm. and trying to be precise so you don't make mistakes. But now it's like I know exactly what I'm doing, I know where I want to get to, I know how to get there, mm -hmm. I don't really have to think too much, so I just I just flew. Even when I want to take my time, I just want, I just realize I'm doing Tears it. Tears of experience. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Tears right. of experience. So, what has been your challenges as a Nigerian doing business in Ghana? Have you faced any challenges? Oh, yeah. Mm. Number one is, what's this discrimination? It's Nigerians, although I will not blame Ghanaians, because some Nigerians can be really loud and things, you understand? But, one of the biggest challenges as a Nigerian doing business in Ghana is discrimination. Ghanaians, especially the ones who are not well traveled, locals, oh my god, they discriminate a lot. I've had a lot of experience, even because I meet a lot of people every single day. So it's, it's, I've had my fair share of experience, even in my daily day to day activity, you know, going to maybe purchasing, renting an apartment space. Oh god, it's crazy. That was the worst. I remember one time I got really upset. I've never gotten upset about it. I used to think it was very casual, it was no big deal. And then this one time, oh my god. 
but they are very good Ghanaians too. Like yeah. me being, like I said, my experience being here in Ghana. It's also a Ghanaian who gave me the space. I never met mm-hmm. that man anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's just, it's just like in Nigeria to meet the good ones and then the bad ones. Yes. Also. Yes. But it's just that you Nigerians generally, the way we are perceived in this country and in it's the bad. world, yeah, in the, the world. world, yeah. Apart from here, and with good reason, you know, I understand if most of, you know, we are very, very, we are, we are extremists. Yes, if we want to be good, yes. yes. If we want to be good, we are good to the extreme. If we want to be bad, oh my God. Give it to you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we want to be bad, go to the extreme. We want That's to very, good. very. You, know, so. you see this accommodation of the thing. Oh. I, I, if you come to my channel, you see that I have been screaming. <laughs> <laughs> screaming. Because it's like, uh, we've been painted rich. Oh. Like, we've been written off. It's not easy. It's so, not easy. at what point did you realize that, no, <laughs> this accommodation between Niger- this accommodation issue between Nigeria and Ghana is a very serious one? Because for me, I realized that like a few months ago. When I was a student, I did not. Oh, I think during the time of. It was easier to get apartments back then, but I think that was when the influx of Nigeria was. Was was fresh then. Yes. Nigerians are coming to Ghana, but not as hot as 2013, 20, Oh we my God! Lot, I came to meet a lot of Jesus. my oh because I think that was when the jam they had that jam, jam issue. issue in Nigeria. So a lot of Nigerians were like, and then you know Nigerians because we're ice students. The moment we find the way yeah. that works, yeah. everybody yeah. wants to follow <laughs> there. Uh, so I met a lot of my friends. Yeah, and I didn't even know like you. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you were coming mm-hmm. to Ghana, and you met. Surprise! Why we saw you. <laughs> It was, it was crazy, like a dream, yes. you know? Because it's I remember like, coming out from the gate and, like, and you're looking at me, I was looking at you like, what the fuck now? This place looks uh, Too familiar and it was weird because mm-hmm. we met at Frank David's place. That was the last place mm-hmm. to expect to meet somebody exactly. who just travels exactly. thousands and thousands miles of miles away. away, you know? That's true. So I'm just so grateful to God that, you know, he has given me this skill and he has, like I was saying, he has created a part for me. It's like I would say I'm favored I'm favor because yeah. Following by merits, number one, I don't have a degree in arts. Mm-hmm. I'm not a Ghanaian. Mm-hmm. They don't employ Ghanaians. In this. I wanted to, there was a point I'm speaking, I wanted to do a security guard in the mall and they would not employ me because I was Nigerian. Wow. I wanted to be a security guard, it was that bad. Things were so bad. I wanted to be a security guard, you know? So, I'm just so grateful that I've been able to get the space skill and now uh, people are working with me and also earning a living from mm-hmm. the other side. So, it's just been, it's just been a bit first, but I have two Nigerian friends now who when we went back to Nigeria thinking things were better but they realized it was worse and they're coming back because they've left the life they were building here. It's like they're coming back to start from start scratch. Fresh. So it's crazy because now they even to, they lease employment and day by day they are getting more desperate. Mm-hmm. You know? They are, they are willing to do so less. Things they, they, they had yeah, things they had they are like they had this ego and pride for never do. Now they are looking for it and they cannot even find it. That's the annoying thing. You understand? So it's just except to meet companies who, 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 who are founded by you know these Indians or Chinese. That's where you can those foreign companies. Yeah, that, that's when Nigerians have a chance to work. Or if you are extremely qualified and you're recommended by somebody else. Or you like like schooling. Mm-hmm. You schooled here and you have to yes. You've interacted with a lot of yeah, people with relationships. relationships. Uh-huh. And then you did not leave it and then you went back to Nigeria because you are people who... Like me, I left it and I went to Nigeria so that I saved my country. Reaching <laughs> there, after saving my country, they realized my country could not give me anything. Look at, you see? I had to come back. come back. And when you come back... And then you are struggling. Struggling you see, now. It's, like, it's now worse than when you left. That is it. Because when, when before I left, I was trying to find my feet. Jesus. And the truth is that you figured out you figured what out you wanted something to do. More. Yes. Eh? You, you are saying, okay, if I keep this place now mm-hmm. for the next one year, mm-hmm. this is where most likely I'm going to be. Mm-hmm. Because one thing I love about Ghana is you put in work, you get it in return. Not like Nigeria where there's nepotism and you see you know, competition you don't know, you know the comp- and Nigerians are very aggressive. Like, oh my God. It's competition is crazy. See, this more, I started this more. The guy that you mother more started the more since 2013 or so. And he was there for about six years. No other Daniel went to any other space. To to to, until I came. If he's in Nigeria. Huh? Yeah. The moment you start, the yeah. very first Someone month, else. somebody else will come up. Oh my goodness. So this country, they are, I think because everything, the reason why Nigerians are very aggressive is because we don't give, we don't get served on the platter of nothing. Yeah. 
not even gold, of plastic crown, you know what I'm saying? So you have to build your own plastic. You know what I'm saying? The water, the water in Nigeria, you drink, drink, drink your bowl, the it's light, like the water. Give them water. You have water to your house. So if you don't, everybody collectively will go through water. And when there's no light, people literally die because there's no generator or anything. Mm -hmm. Generator is, is so expensive in this country. Oh, I, like checked, I checked, the, it was 5,000 cities. And I'm surprised why should be that one, expensive when they don't use nine, it. Yeah. The one in Nigeria I bought for 1,200 cities. That's the same thing I saw it here, 5,000 cities. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was shocked. It's so not it's the bad. Yeah, so, here. Exactly. So a lot of things, you have to be self-sufficient in Nigeria. You literally have to be self-sufficient. And we also look out for each other. So that thing, you know, it digs me deep into our animalistic mm -hmm. side. That's why we tend off to come off as aggressive. Yeah. Because like, we are more in tune with our nature. Like Charlie, we are going after it. We have to but succeed. here, we give you everything. And I will not lie. I've yeah, stayed in Ghana for 11 years now. I think I'm beginning, it's beginning to rub off from me. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, when yeah. I go back to Nigeria, it's like, oh Jesus, this place is <laughs> too fast it for me. It's too fast for <laughs> yes, me. Yes, I, yes, need, yes. I need to relax a bit. So. Yes, you need to think. It's like Nigerians don't think, they just act. Oh my like, goodness. They just act. But they Ghana, act and they ask questions later. They'd be like, yes. oh, okay, I should have done it this way. Oh my God. But yeah. in Ghana, they take their time. I think that's what helped me, you know, in my pursuit. To find yourself yeah, very find well. my feet, you know. That's, and that's what the Ghanaians who have traveled, especially the ones who have been to Nigeria, stay there. That's what they look for in Nigeria. The moment they, some things, the Ghanaians who have met, who have traveled and stayed in Nigeria for a while, who have the ability to employ or get into business with people, they prefer to get into business or employ Nigerians. Because they know the true potential and the true characteristics of the average Nigeria, not the ones that people think. Yes, not the frosters. Yes, not the frosters. That's why the frosters are. Even the frosters are aggressive. They are aggressive. That's why they're making it. People think frosters is just your entire thing. They have to be aggressive. The these guys do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why they like, even go the extra mile. Cool, they have office spaces. Mm -hmm. like, they like, really? This guy, when I, this when I, when I asked people that I found out, like, really? This thing, I was thinking it was just like, you enter and then it's like, yeah, wait, they, they have this money in one place. The money to become a foster, they just give you money. No. They do a lot. Jesus. They go into human lot. psychology, studying human mm -hmm. psychology because you have to know how to talk That's to people. That's about intelligence. Jesus. They are intelligent. They are, they are they're they're not, they're not that. They are not that. Jesus. Intelligent people. So, to be able to do that, you have to be skilled. And Nigerians are willing to do anything, anything. to get there. You've even answered the question I wanted to ask, which is why you chose Ghana over Nigeria, because you could have gone to Nigeria to oh. do this business. But you decided to stay in Ghana. You've answered because that Because there's, there's a lot of space to be filled in here. This yes, country. yes. And I later found out that the acting is much more bigger than I thought. And I just discovered that a year ago. I used to think, Art was not appreciated in, in Africa and Ghana, but Ghana is even more appreciated. Ghana, it is appreciated. It is yes. more appreciated in Ghana. Like it's yes, not really it is. The level of the appreciation. Yes, I just is. found out that and I felt so stupid. Like, why didn't I apply for art? And I had the option. While we were applying, art was my... Because I never wanted to be considered an artist. But art was like the last. I do, and you think, you think this thing has something to do with we not nurtured well? Especially yes. after secondary school, the next step to take is yes. like growing that up. Everybody wants to be a doctor, a nurse, a this, a that. Like nobody actually now. Knows. Now I am very religious, really advising people to do. You see that one thing that you feel like you shouldn't. You, you know that one thing that you, you don't feel tired when you do it, and you do it so much that you don't care if you are being paid or not. Mm -hmm. You just enjoy, enjoy doing it. it. Try to define it and build a business around it. You're not going to work any day. Monetize in your life. it. You're not going to work. Even you can be and show it now where anything works. You just have to even TikTok. TikTok. Mm -hmm. People who are millionaires in TikTok, they do the most stupid things. things. And it's just something they all talk about. It's like even something happen by happenstance. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's not something they plan. And then they realize people love this shit. Let me make money from mm -hmm. it. And TikTok is so easy to make money. Like, it's so easy to make money now. Like, people make crazy amounts of money. They build houses, buy land. This is crazy. This is there and it's, just, it's like you said, you're not in Julia. I remember, as you said that, I just remember when I was teaching what I really wanted to do. I never really understood what I wanted to do. I knew what I was good at, but those, those things were never an option. Yes, it was Because an I option. felt 
Nah. Will not people hear what your parents say? I want my child to be a doctor. Oh yeah, okay, so you want to tell them you want to be an artist. So you're trying to, you're trying to make them proud first. Yeah, before, before you start thinking about yourself. Yeah, so but I thank God for how far. Oh, yes. oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really thankful. Like I'm so proud. <laughs> you, you know why I'm proud? You know why I'm proud? Because I saw when in secondary school you were this drawing. Was and I also there. saw when you started that. Uh, Mother Day Stanley. Yeah. Yeah. And you were so consistent. Oh, yeah. I you, needed you, to prove to myself. Yes. It was, it you was, did it like 100 days. I was I following up. It was crazy. I remember my experience. It was like, mm -hmm. when I think back, I'm like, what happened? You did what that. Happened? Like, why? But I needed to I needed to earn my respect. And that's what I felt I needed to do. A lot of, fact, a lot of factors that. The back in, I think that that hundred day challenge was what sparked my mind mm. to come back to this thing. And then I was like, if you are just good, what are you doing? What are you doing struggling like this? People are doing way less mm. and I'm and making, making more. Money. Like, bro. I want then, you I want you to really say something to guidance. Like parents, okay. guardians. Tell them something about nurturing a child from the young age. You know, in achieving their dreams. Oh. You see, sometimes it was just like when you were growing up, if they had told you then that you'd be an artist, you wouldn't do oh, it. Oh, never. You, probably you were doing that then because you enjoyed I drawing. I enjoyed it. I, ne I, never I never told you, even in up until university, I never wanted people to tell it to me as an artist. I'm like, no, art is a hobby for me. Mm. Please, I am an engineer in the naked. Mm. Please, I'm building my engineering career. Don't call me an artist. Yes. It's my hobby. Yes. It was up until university level. You understand? Up until I was still living in ignorance. Like I wish I had somebody who told me. Like, can I answer the question now? Yes, yeah. please. Do. So, parents' guidance. The truth is, times are really changing. Times are really, and they are changing so fast. There are babas who are living way more comfortable life than ninety nine percent of Nigerians. Do you know why? Hair baba, hair cut, they do hair cut. Do you know why? It's the people who they bab. The person who babs me escape. The guy, I always use this as a point. <laughs> the person who babs, the people who are crazy. Those yeah. guys live way comfortable life than some of the white collar jobs. No, you can't. Even musicians too. Footballers, TikTokers. This is crazy. Even YouTubers mm -hmm. as well. They are living way more comfortable life than 90% 90 of uh, adults and in Nigeria because times have really changed. Times have really changed. The, the, the introduction of technology to everyday life has really changed the playing field. Because now we are living in the attention age. Attention. If you're able to grab a number of people's attention, then you make money. Yes, you make money out You make money. So that's what Facebook is doing. When Facebook started to they see him as internet when Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg when started he said everywhere looking at him, even as far as he's crazy. He left school. He just recently just completed his degree. He left school to chase Facebook. You understand? Mm. So it's, it's crazy. It's really crazy, you know? Parents, just try and understand your kids. Observe your kids. You know, try to look at them with an open mind. You understand? And they understand that times have really changed. You understand? This is something I asked parents who are well-traveled, who are traveled around the world, who have interacted with love, where they're like, no, nah, see, every human being is an entity by themselves. Mm -hmm. You understand? The thing I love African parents struggle with is that they see this human being or this their child as an extension of themselves. No. He's an entity. That child could have been the child of any other person. person. You understand? Exactly. It's just that God has given you this person that he believes you can be able to mold this child into the person you should become, not the person you want, you to, want become. to become. Or you would have become. Not only have a lot of African parents struggle with. Oh, I could have been this person, so you would be that person for me. So it's like when the child becomes that, they're, they're extremely excited because it's something they wanted to do. But if you go and ask the child what they really want to become, you understand that. It's even most times the opposite in contrast of what the parents actually want yes. to do. Because me myself, even up until when I said even the time my mom actually came around was when the selection is mom and she and like access. Oh, I used to collect a lot of beating <laughs> for drawing wow. and molding things. Oh, that time I used to be so crafty and creative, you know, growing up. I used to oh for using my book to do that book mm -hmm. I used to learn. Book that they bought for you. Ob, you know, I was so obsessed with it. Yeah. You know, when the child when the parent sees that in the child, then you understand that you have a gem. Imagine I keep asking myself, imagine if my parents had that faith and were like, let's just let's just invest in your art. Like by now you would oh have gone goodness. far. 
people have come very far. Oh my goodness. So I don't like to think too much about it because mm. it can be depressing sometimes. Mm. Like if they had that faith in me. So parents, have that faith. Because that child, God, you don't see what that child sees in their head. You understand? Mm. The vision. Every child, God has given them a, a particular dream. It, it might be stupid. It might look very foolish. Mm. Everybody has a role to play. It must not be that the son of the president must be the president as well. The son of this person must be. No. They have different passions. You understand? Just like myself. You understand? Just like my friends too. A lot of my friends turn out to be something else. A lot of African kids who go to school to study, uh, study something else. They, they go to those brands and get them like, Mommy, mm, take I'm daddy, take. Now, nah, let me do what I want. And then they've wasted a lot of And you know, you've time. wasted a lot of years. The years you would have used in building yourself, finding yourself. And then eventually these kids need to go out their way and then find their feet. But they would have been much bigger in the final area. See, the gifts that God has given them, try to listen to them with that, you know. Help them to build this. Help and then them. invest. Invest in them. The time, the time my mom realized that, okay, this guy might be serious, was when they realized, okay, financially things are not really going to work out, the school. But I was really making realistic drawings. I showed my mom one of my she couldn't believe that. That you were the one that drew it. Did you listen that looks like a picture? It's a lie. Mm -hmm. The way she showed that she was like, wow, then I actually do have somebody who is serious. And then I told her mom, this is what I have in plan. This is, this is my plan. This is something I have. And I actually I had a way as I mom there's this more in my area. It's not very far from my house. It's the biggest as I then was the biggest one in West Africa. I want to go and miss them and then I've been there one time but it didn't really work out because I wasn't prepared. But there are things I have to do, I have to burn myself and she said, okay, okay. So how much do you need? I told her the amount. And she went to go in on the me. And I was able to do this. Because now I was very old enough, I figured it out for myself and I was able to let her know at least a little bit. Because even after I said I won't end it, they sit up on the system. Oh, go back, go back, go back. Yeah. And I understand them. It's also very good to have a I'm not saying you shouldn't get a degree, but mm -hmm. it's very important that you know what you're doing and you send out. You optimize all your resources. Make sure that you gear all of the resources to towards it. Mm. Because even with that, you can go. To, you can go back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go back. To, you can earn any degree you want to. Okay. I really, really appreciate you coming on my yes, channel. Yes, yes, yes. But you must reach out. Okay. So please give out your Instagram handle if you have other social media handles or your phone number, your business okay, line, so that people okay. can call you. Okay, okay. Plus two, two, three. Five five four zero seven six zero one four. That's my call and WhatsApp number. Okay. And my Instagram is Anoze John underscore Arts. Okay. So that's A N O Z I E John J O H N underscore Arts. Okay. That's my Instagram. John, it was nice. Hey, it's been. my pleasure. Thank my you pleasure. so much. I've yes. learned a lot. Oh, and I'm here to see you. I've motivated me more because it's just like you know seeing someone grow over the years. I've not seen you for so many years. Yes. So seeing you again like you are all grown and I'm, I'm very, very happy. Wow, again, I want to say it out here. I'm very proud of you. Wow, you Keep so on the good work. We do definitely. This is going to take you places. Amen. Like, Amen. Places. Amen. Places you never imagined. Amen. Thank yeah. you so much. Mm -hmm. So guys, if you want to reach out to Jen, he just gave out his social media handle and his phone number. Call me. See, you are, you've already seen the drawings on the screen. <laughs> like, it's not picture. It's hand drawing, like someone using a hand to draw it. So mm -hmm. please, if you know you want to draw for your family, your family portraits, your wife, we'll do all that. your husband, we'll do that, your yeah. fiancé, Whoever, your friend, whoever. Valentine is coming. Valentine so. is coming. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for, for your girlfriend. loved ones is Valentine. Contact you. Yeah, you open. can deliver to them, right? Oh, yes, yes, like yes. Like you can draw and yeah. then surprise. Yes, yes. If you want all that, we can make that happen. We can do it for you. Yes. And trust me, yeah. that is the perfect gift you can give to someone. Oh, yes. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do want to subscribe to my YouTube subscribe. channel. Please. Most important thing, Please. subscribe. Turn on help, the bell. Help, 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 help me. Us. Help us. Help us. It's not easy. Please call us. It's not easy for the idea. It's not easy. Please call us. It's not easy. Please call us. Yeah. Subscribe yeah. will help us. Exactly. Subscribe. Exactly. Well, you don't have to ask to help us. Thanks. Help my ministry. Thank help you so much for yeah. watching. And until we meet next time, don't forget to always meet. Salute. Bye-bye.